So hey, what's going on, fiends? So, the new Deadpool and Wolverine teaser trailer has just dropped. And uh, I'm quite curious as to how Disney is going to be handling this particular property. Because if you're a fan of the comics or the films, you know this particular character has a bit of a potty mouth. Has a lot of dick and fart humor about it. So, I am wondering, is Disney going to let it ride? And, you know, just, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it type of approach with it. Or are they just going to go in and just Disney-fy it? And what I mean by Disney-fy is just completely tear it apart until it's just a shell of itself. Those are the concerns that not only I have, but I'm sure a lot of you who are fans of the character have as well. But, uh, got that teaser? Let's have a look. Happy birthday to you. Well, that hairstyle looks terrible. Um, it's been a challenging few years, for sure. Oh, so it's a but wig. Thank God. That is because of each and every one of you. I'm the luckiest man alive. Make a wish, buddy. Wait, Wilson? Who's asking? Who are these assholes? Ooh. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. Is that supposed to be scary? Pegging isn't new for me, friendo. Okay. But it is for Disney. Sort of sense they're going to let it be what it's always been. Mr. Wilson, you appear to have soiled yourself while unconscious. I wasn't unconscious. Who are you? <laughs> Why am I here? Walk with me. Wait. You are special. This is your chance to be a hero among heroes. I smell what you're stepping in, Sensei. Your little cinematic universe is about to change forever. Oh, I'm the Messiah. Hatch. Or Logan Wolverine. I am Marvel Jesus. <laughs> Lord knows Marvel needs it right now because all their movies and TV shows suck ass. Oh, yeah. Okay. Leaving a little bit of the violence. Is it? Is it? Oh, it is, baby. The Jackman, Hugh Jackman, Logan. Don't just stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. <laughs> nope, I'm actually okay. Thank you very much. And they've got him in the costume. I mean, I've seen actual shots of him in that costume, but I was wondering if they were just playing us. So, there you go. Deadpool and Wolverine. It's a teaser trailer. Told us just enough of the story to make us come into it with questions and leave with even more questions. And it showed us just enough to make us want to see it. But it's Deadpool. I think we all universally love the character and we all want to see it. Out of all these comic book properties that are still floating around out there right now that are still making movies, Deadpool seems to be the last of the great comic book adapted films because Ryan Reynolds who loves the character really was born to play the character. I mean he is Wade Wilson. <clears throat> now, my like I said at the beginning of the video, biggest concern is Disney cutting the balls off this thing and uh, disney fying it as they do with a lot of stuff and putting all their woke political bullshit agenda crap into the narrative of the film which you would think they've learned by now ain't winning them fans and it definitely ain't making people just fall over each other trying to get to the box office to spend the money. I think at some point Bob Iger and Disney, you'd get the fucking hint. But, uh, 
I do hope they put more of an emphasis on breaking the fourth wall, and I kind of sense that in the in the teaser that that's going to be primarily what this film is going to be about. Him realizing that he's now under the Disney umbrella, breaking the fourth wall with that, realizing he's now in the MCU. So the fun that he's going to be able to have with that and going forward to crossovers, hopefully Robert Downey Jr. would want to do a cameo as Tony Stark at some point down the road. I get this character's dead, but it's comic books. Nobody stays dead in comic books. If you're a fan of comics, I think you know that. But uh, I'm jacked for it, man. I, I really can't wait. And I really can't wait to see Hugh Jackman in the yellow and uh, blue Wolverine costume. I don't know why I've wanted to see that for so long. And I know Hugh Jackman hasn't really been a fan of wanting to be in that particular costume. But I've always wanted to see it live action on the big screen. I think the closest we got was Bat in the Sun a couple of years back when they did the uh, superhero beatdown video where they had Wolverine and Predator. And that looked pretty badass. Even had the guy with the mask with the big wings on it. I don't think Hugh Jackman, though he's in the costume, what we saw at the last, I don't think he's really going to be down with wearing the big winged mask. But hey, hey, anybody enough money, I'm sure he, he makes he'll make a compromise at some point. Being this is his essentially his last hurrah as the character. But uh anyway, rambled on enough about it. I'm just excited for Kale. See me calm on the outside, but inside I'm like, ah uh yeah. But anyway, gang, y'all let me know down here in the comments below what you think about Deadpool and Wolverine. Are you excited for it? Do you have concerns like moi does with the fact that now Sony's not in charge of it anymore and Disney is now? Also, too, if you're new to the channel, hey, welcome. And if you would, hit the little subscribe button right down below. Blah, 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 blah. And also, too, give us a thumbs up. I do get that notification bell. And as always, and your old buddy John, I'll see you again next time. <laughs>